Please say a command. Destination. Destination. Say street address. Intersection. Or POI. POI. Say one of these POI categories. ATM. Say a line number. One. Do you need to get money? For, re for real? Yes. In case we need to get a bigger boat. This is a great white, Larry. A big one. And any shark expert in the world will tell you it's a killer. It's a man-eater. We're with Mike Hurd from the Edgar Town Tour Company, who does Jaws tours of Martha's Vineyard. Mike, where are we exactly? So we are in Aquina, uh, the westernmost part of the island. This is where the billboard scene was filmed. I believe they chose this location because of the scenery, because of this open space, and kind of showing the lovely New England vista. Now, they don't actually specify that it's Martha's Vineyard in the film. Is that primarily, you think, because the island didn't want to have this association with, it, with a movie about, like, shark attacks? Benchley wrote about a town on an island called Amity, and without a doubt, they wanted to stay consistent with that. The stigma of being coined Shark Attack Island very well could have ruined business here for years and years to come. I think it did the opposite. I think it brought people to the island by the masses. A number of things slowed down this production, and many thought that the project was never going to get finished at all. Uh, the people out west in Hollywood didn't necessarily trust that Spielberg was going to be able to produce. And it's crazy, too, because Spielberg, at the time, wasn't Steven Spielberg. They hired a different director to start. Hmm. And in the initial talks for the film, uh, the director was getting all excited about it and, and talking with Benchley and saying, well, uh, the whale terrorizes the town and the whale comes back and does this and the whale crashes into the boat. And uh, Benchley stood up from his seat and said, I didn't write Moby Dick, I wrote Jaws. And so um, he wasn't the first choice. And, uh, you know, lucky for us, I think they picked the right guy. Shark! All right, so Mike, we're out here on a windy day for one of the more iconic parts of Jaws, I think. Set the scene for us. So we are in front of a wildlife protected area uh, that was once an open beach used for some of the attacks and beach scenes in the movie Jaws. It is the location where the shark actually enters the pond. Now, it wasn't just all Hollywood people who were flown in. Spielberg actually incorporated locals. The gentleman who coached Quint, he was hired to uh, run his boat. When Spielberg first met him, he said, well, I pretty much got Quint. Right. And when Robert Shaw finally did show up, he paired them together and said, you need to become this man. When will we get them silly bastards down in that rock pile? They'll be some fun. They'll wish their fathers had never met their mothers. But he also had his, his uh, head molded. It's kind of that big fright moment. That's when, no matter how many times you've seen the movie, you're gonna jump out of your seat. <laughs> That was shot in a swimming pool, I think out in LA, in yeah, Vernon Fields the, uh, swimming pool. the editor of the film. Correct. It was her, uh, her swimming pool. Yeah, it's just swimming with bow-legged women. So Mike, where are we now? We are in a small fishing town called Menemsha. Uh, Menemsha is where Quint lived. Quint's home was built right in this lot. Uh, it's been an empty lot as I know it since the film. It was a temporary structure, perfect place for Quint to live. You don't have backyards here, you have a dock, you have your boat right off the dock. The structure was here and gone right away, right? They like, it didn't stick around very long. A week or so, uh, I'm not sure on the, the exact time frame, but they built it specifically for the movie. I believe they were forced to build it to code. They had to put plumbing in, they had to put electric in, um, again, for a temporary structure. Shoot! It's been almost 40 years since the movie was shot. Why do you think it, it's still bringing people up here? It's a timeless film. It's amazing. I've had four generations of people on the Jaws tour. Great-grandfather all, all the way through that great-grandson. And people absolutely love it. You know, I think a new Jaws fan will be born today, without a doubt. What I'm gonna do right now is just sick. It's sick? Yeah, it's not right.